All right, ladies, I uh, scored some parts for the 250R. Um, let's check them out. <clears throat> local guy had these, well, I shouldn't say local, it's about an hour drive away. They had all of this, had some more parts listed uh, for a uh, Honda 1986 to 89 uh, TRX 250R. These are full bore plastics full set with the seat um, they're actually 400 EX plastics that are that are able to be mounted to the uh, 250R um, I did a dry fit on these they fit okay but I don't really care for them too much they're they make the bike look a little weird um, so I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not so again they're 400 EX full bore plastics with the seat um, and it came with the steering stem front bumper TM design chain block and some front uh, fender mounts for the plastics I got all this for 200 bucks um, I, the only thing I was really interested in was the steering stem um, anti-vibe there it is. There's no markings on it, so I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a plus two steering stem, anti-vibe. So I have a ride scheduled today. I was hoping to get that bad boy mounted up, but I don't think I'll have enough time. There's a TM design chain block. I really like this pretty simple front bumper. I currently have a DG bumper and it's just too big and bulky. There's the seat. And the rear plastics, it's like the race cut them. So I'll probably sell these plastics. Um, if I, I'll probably sell these for about 200 bucks. Hopefully, get my money back, and that way everything will be free. Some other goodies I'm going to put on the 250R. I've always, I've always liked the fatty bars. There's some old bars that I've had sitting around for a while, as well as some old grips. I love the spider grips. Now on my 250R. It has the FMF pipe, but it's a power core, and there's no spark arrestor. So on my old dirt bike, I got a couple of pipes left over from my old dirt bikes. This one is a turbine core, which has a spark arrestor. And the cool thing with this is, is FMF makes the same kind of shell. So all I'm going to do is take the shell off, slide that bad boy off, put that shell back on. And I mount it up. I'll probably have to do something with the brackets right here, but it should be good to go. It'll save me about $120 of having to buy a new pipe. So, there's the bike. Taking it out today. First ride. Um, so it should be pretty fun. I cut I cut the fenders up. Uh, race cut fenders. Um, until I can get some more or better plastics for it. I had some old deflex handguards put these on and I took off the power the arm not the power but the e-brake assembly and I had an old shorty lever for the clutch and I this is pretty cool um my buddy gave me this I was I, I sent out a group text I said hey guys I'm looking for a, a, a GPS system a true GPS system so anybody have one let me know and one of my buddies responded yeah come pick it up just bring me a case of beer so I brought him a case of beer and he gave this to me um, works pretty good this is cool because the two things I care about are miles how far I've gone and the speed and this this does both of those just batteries I don't have to hook any wires up or anything so I'll be running this for a while because um, again two things I care about miles how far I'm going and then speed um, and I can get both of those on my GPS unit. So, there it is. It's going out today. Should be a good ride with some buddies. Um, taking my buddy or my cousin out who bought a 2007 Raptor uh, 700. So, I'm taking him out today. So, hopefully in the next couple of days I can put on these parts. And hopefully find some plastic soon and a seat cover. Alright, ladies.